Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get the arms installed, at least this end of them. You need your arm pack. Let's get ahead and get that opened up. Hardware. This hardware, okay, with a couple of exceptions, you're not going to use. You're after the washers in here and these number four screws. The rest of it, you're not going to use. These components are for the V2. And you'll have probably opened this package previously in order to get the effector platform out of it. I had a spare effector laying around and uh, opened it up. It looks like it's not going to let me have it, so I'm going to have to grab my scissors again. Number one way to get that handled. Okay, so you, you've already handled this, so we'll put that over there. We need three of these and these tension springs here. Okay. And these other three components we can pitch over here. We'll hang on to the hardware. So what you want to do, okay, and I'll rotate the, the printer a bit so it's a little bit easier to see. You're going to put these, this little barbell here right there okay and I'll rotate that a little bit more so you can see it more easily okay and now you're gonna put a washer and a screw on each one so go ahead and we'll get this screw package opened up here and like I said we are after only the number four screws and the washers so all this stuff over here because we don't need any of that. Okay, so go ahead and just put these together ahead of time so they're ready when we need them. Okay, so Get your handy dandy screwdriver. Make sure you got a P1 bit in there because that's what size these screws are. And we'll get them installed. Okay. Go ahead and do that for the other two carriages and we'll Okay, right now we're going to go ahead and install the arms on each one of the carriages. And to do this requires for each one two arms and one tension spring. And I'll show you why we're only using one spring here in a second. So what you can do is go ahead and put one on each ball and you'll listen it clips, okay? Now take the tension spring and slide it into the position open here on the arm okay and just slide it up like that okay now what we're gonna do is spread the arms out and let them rest against the extrusion we're gonna do that because the next task is to mount the effector platform with the hot end on it and we're not ready for that yet so go ahead and get the arms mounted on the other two carriages and will be done for this task.